Hello there and a very warm welcome to another edition of the program. I am Victor Mathias. Now, over the past few months, the most repeated word in the political space of Nigeria has been the third force. The third force is expected to break into the gang of the two dominant political parties and perhaps take over power in 2019 or 2023 on the assumption that Nigerians are fed up with the space at the moment. Will this come to pass? Or will this be another political castle built in the air? These are questions we will be finding out on the program today. But let's first take a look at the trending topics in the past week. The security summit organized by the upper legislative arm became a topic for all after the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, gave a nod to the idea of state police to be introduced in the country saying the system is the way to go because having a centralized system cannot effectively secure the nation. The first edition of the Lagos Marathon as an IAAF bronze status also got the attention of members of the social cyberspace as it broke new records from the previous editions. Abram Kiprotich won the 42km race in 2 hours 13 minutes, while Efoguta won the female category in 2 hours 40 minutes. Well, there you go. Those were the trends in the past week. And then, of course, congratulations to the winners of the marathon that took place over the weekend in Lagos. Well, joining me now to look at the conversation today, I have Michael Abimboye who joins us in the studio. He is the online editor of the New Telegraph newspaper. Thank you for joining us on the Thanks program. Thanks for having me online. Of course. And we also have on our YouTube, uh, well, Google Plus, actually, it's all the same company. But on the Google Plus Hangout, we have Samson Itodo who joins us from uh, Nigeria's capital territory. That's Abuja. Samson, thanks for joining us on the program today. Pleasure to be here. Thank of you. Of course. And we also have Ben Cosmos, who joins us from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, to be precise. Thanks as well, Ben, for joining us on the program. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Of course. But let me just come back to you. Kickstart this conversation for us. I mean, we've heard about the third force, you know, in the past weeks in Nigeria. But who, who is this third force? Well... With the third force so far has been a collection of the old politicians, old guards, so not new force per se. So for me, it's, I don't think it's a really third force per se yet until we have the youth involved, like the younger politicians are involved, and then, then we can say we have a third force. But if we, I, I, we can basically say it's politicians who have rigged out of power, who don't have access to power yet, who the current government are sidelined, uh, they are probably angry at the current government, like, okay. We do have the kind of uh, the positions we, we aim for. We do we have the appointments we thought we would get, and so they are probably angry at the president Buhari, and so they feel okay. The only way to rig him out, to kick him out of, of 2019, is form a coalition, then send him away, and, and, and they time with third force. Uh, so when you say old politicians, like who and who are you? I mean, did you have uh, Olinola, from former governor of Oshun State, when 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 they, when the um, the Basajo movement launched in Abuja, it was it was there, it was here yeah, and. Um, my governor of Cross River State. So these are old, old politicians. I was expecting to see younger guys, maybe from the AP, from the PDP, both young, young, young faces, fresh people that Nigerians can relate with. And okay, now we are. But if you if you go by the letter by uh, written by the former uh, former uh, pres military president IBB, he said he called for younger um, politicians. So I was expecting like okay, since he is is, is driving towards younger politicians, then we should have younger politicians. People like who are in the PDP who are not who are not being used well can cross over to the, to the coalition and... But, but you, you, you've only made mention of PDP and APC, and I, I'm, I'm aware we have more than two political parties in this country. Well, yes, the other political parties we have, they've been so quiet. 
I said for maybe a, 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 there's, there's one is I've done, there's one is ADP. The, the, those two are those are the two other opposition parties that we have been doing talking for about. Aside those one, the, the the other Labour Party which we expect to be doing the talking to has been gone quiet ever since 2015 election. So I, I don't think those ones can. Except if there's, there's, there's a merger of all the other political parties and with with, with the NIM and um, Coalition for Nigeria Movement, it can be a truly good, truly thought force if they have a good um, young. Partition as 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 it faced, but with these old old same persons, I mean, we are wise enough in Nigeria now. We we know we, we know all this now. Now we can't be going. <laughs> we Nigerians on wise before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to you in just a bit. But Samson, let me come back to you now. Um, let me come to you rather. Um, I mean, because he made mention of one thing. He said they are all the third force is sub, is filled with old politicians. But then first and foremost, congratulations with the not too young to run. I I believe it's just five more states before you know it gets the the required um, percentage it needs to go full uh, blown. But how does that make you feel, first and foremost, that this third force is filled mostly, like Michael said, with all politicians? Um, first, just to put in perspective that as we speak, um, we only have three states to go. Um, it's no longer five states. Great, great. Uh, Kebia and Abia actually joined. So after once we get three states, we'll get a total number of 24 states um, who have passed um, not too young to run. And then we'll just wait for presidential assent. But just to weigh in on the conversation around the third force, the key question to ask is, what is exactly the third force? Is the third force a new ideology, um, a political party or a movement? Um, the key question will be, is this third force capable of disrupting national politics in a way that democracy can eventually begin to deliver development of the people? Because at the center of the discourse on the third force is whether the kind of leadership, political leadership that we have, has delivered the gains of democracy to, to Nigerians. And I dare say that the, the people who claim um, the identity of a third force are actually not the third force. The real third force is the Nigerian youth who are 52% of registered voters in Nigeria, and they will determine the outcome of the 2019 um, general elections. If you look at these leaders who, who lead these, um, whether you call them movements or groups, all of them obtain their legitimacy from young people. If young people do not um, serve as campaign merchants, if young people do not serve as their supporters and their cheerleaders, they don't have any form of legitimacy. But that is beginning to change because you are increasingly seeing young people galvanizing their interests and their values and actually aspiring to run for office. So for me, the third force is actually young people. And the 2019 elections actually provide us an opportunity as young people to assert our sovereignty because the ruling political elite has taken us for a ride for too long. And this is the time when young people will need to make this demography or these statistics count and not just reducing us to over 60 or 70 percent of our population are young people. That, is, that makes no sense if we don't activate the power of our numbers and change the course, and in fact, in determine the development trajectory of the country over the next 50 years. 